Hi everyone. Welcome to Cavan Library and the Mackay Educational Resource Centre, where we, like you probably, are getting ready for Lent and Easter. And I thought over the next couple of weeks I would show you some of our newest books for the season here at the library, starting with this one. Faithful Families for Lent, Easter, and Resurrection. This is written by Tracy Smith and it's published by Chalice Press. It's brand new. Now you may already be familiar with Tracy's work through some of her other books, um, Faithful Families, Prayers for Faithful Families, and Faithful Families for Advent and Christmas. We've got the whole collection here. Um, all of Tracy's books are thoughtful, practical, and they're filled with really user-friendly ideas for observing the seasons of the liturgical year at home or in a congregational setting. Um, this is no exception, but one of the things about this book that really stands out is that it addresses a tough question, how we present the death of Jesus to children. So many resources out there, picture books, as well as popular traditions like um, resurrection eggs, emphasize violence as essential to the story. But these graphic depictions of suffering are often really deeply disturbing for children. And as Tracy contends in this book, they turn the focus away from where it truly belongs on the transforming power of love and the ongoing reality of resurrection. So Faithful Families for Lent and Easter presents um, a thoughtful and firm critique of substitutionary atonement, and it offers an alternative that's rooted in scripture, is hopeful and life-giving. Um, the book is divided into sections, um, kind of, well, broadly into sections based on the three traditional pillars of prayer, fasting, and almsgiving, um, but they're reframed as simplifying, praying, and giving. Um, chapters beginning the season, Pancake Tuesday and Ash Wednesday, praying, simplifying, giving, and then we get into symbols, Holy Week, Easter Vigil and Easter, the season of resurrection, and ending the season. Um, the chapter on symbols, I think, is particularly good, and it includes a revised version of resurrection eggs with different symbols, and also a rewriting of the popular jelly bean prayer, which connects the Christian story with transformations taking place in the natural world. Now, Tracy Smith, if you don't know her and her work, um, is both a minister in the PCUSA and the mother of three young children. And it really shows in her theological grounding, her ability to communicate clearly, and her understanding that parents and caregivers have finite energy um, and they need help bringing faith formation home in a way that's simple, but still really meaningful. So this is the kind of book that families of all sorts can really uh, grow with and grow into. You can borrow it from us here at the library or order your own copy. See you next time.